Hey everybody, uh, so 1.13 was finally released today on uh, July 18th, and yeah, so obviously the old uh, dragon egg bedrock breaking trick got removed, and uh, for a while we thought like uh, headless piston bedrock breaking would be pretty much almost fixed uh, as well, but actually in, uh, so in the previous versions, they had made it so headless pistons, if they didn't have a head, then they wouldn't be able to retract. And this was in the snapshots basically all the way up until the final couple of pre-releases. So, yeah, I don't really know why uh, they added it back. But, uh, yeah, headless pistons can uh, retract again, like you just saw there. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, explore this. We could see what this means. Um, so obviously, if I have a headless sticky piston here, you would expect, like before, like in 1.12, this retracts, and it does. Uh, but something different in 1.13 here is that if you have a block in between here, between the sticky piston and uh, the block two blocks away, it actually won't retract this block anymore. And uh, yeah, both these blocks stay where they were. So what this actually means is that the old standard uh, headless piston and bedrock breaking that uh, was shown by Myron Nerio and uh, was generally used by most people, you know, just to punch like a single hole in the another roof or something like that. Um, that actually doesn't, that specific way doesn't work in 1.13 anymore. So yeah. Uh, but uh, as you can see here, uh, we have a headless sticky piston here. If I break this redstone, you can see that this uh, sticky piston will still drop this block in front of it here. Um, so yeah, that's really good news for us in terms of bedrock breaking because that is something that we really need for uh, for yeah for the bedrock breaking. Also, I'm going to show here we have a headless sticky piston. Uh, this is a old mechanic that I'd showed in my last headless piston video actually. Um, yeah, if I power this piston here you can see that this block got dropped two blocks in front of it here and uh, yeah this is the same mechanic used in uh, pretty much you know zero ticking and uh, you know one ticking uh, sticky pistons used to teleport blocks and uh, yeah so that will still work for headless sticky pistons as well uh, but something else new that is in 1.13 is that if you have a st headless sticky piston um, and you have a block 36 that is a piston base block 36 and uh, if you uh, have this uh, sticky piston here retract that will actually delete this block 36 that is right here and that is something really new uh, so I'm going to show this here first. If I update this, you can see that that wasn't deleted because it's not a block 36. But if I put this back and uh, if I retract this first, that'll update and then it'll retract itself. You can see that this headless sticky piston will delete this piston base. And uh, that is something new and that does affect uh, some headless piston tech uh, because you can't, you kind of can't generate a like there was an old thing you could do where you could generate a headless sticky piston right in front of another headless sticky piston um, by dropping the block and then having another block, block event for retraction get processed but having it powered during that time and that would create a, uh, a headless sticky piston here and uh, Myron Irio showed this in one of his um, headless piston videos where he used it in a flying machine to uh, yeah basically constantly generate headless sticky pistons in front of each other and make a uh, flying machine that could essentially well it, it doesn't actually push it but it kinda would push a headless sticky piston forward but this being true means that you can't do that anymore but uh... yeah uh... so yeah that's kinda that's kinda sad but um... uh... yeah it's still there's still some other things available, so yeah. Um, here's uh, something else. Uh, 
if this, like I showed before over there, uh, sticky piston won't retract this block through if, uh, if there's another block in front of it here. But if this was actually a block 36, it'll delete it like over there, and then it will actually retract this block through it. So that is uh, something kind of interesting too. So yeah, you just saw that there. It actually retracted that after it deleted that block 36 there. Uh, something else new in 1.13. This wasn't there. Uh, this wasn't in uh, 1.12 or before either. If I power this uh, piston here, this sticky piston will actually delete this uh, block 36 of the head of the piston here, and it will generate a headless piston here, as I show before. As I show. So we have a headless piston here now instead of over here. So I guess this is kind of a way of moving uh, headless pistons. Um, the reason this didn't work in uh, 1.12 and before, you might think, why wouldn't this work? Um, well, actually, what would happen was this block 36 would get dropped. Even if this was a regular headless piston, it would actually get dropped. Uh, because he regular headless pistons will do that too, but then they would uh, then delete that block. So yeah, it's kind of weird how the code is, but that's that's what actually happens. So what would happen in 1.12 is this this headless piston would get dropped. Then you'd have a headless a regular headless or a regular head of a piston right here, and the base. And then at the end of the processing of the piston's code, it would delete that head, and then this piston base saw oh my head got deleted. It's not a block 36 it's actual head, and then it would delete its own base. So that's that's what would happen, but apparently this doesn't happen uh, anymore in 1.13. I'm kind of interested what actually goes on in the code. Uh, I'm probably going to check that out when MCP finally gets released for 1.13. Uh, that might be a while though. But something interesting with this mechanic is actually that you can have a headless sticky piston drop a block, two blocks in front of it, and then also have it generate a new headless piston. So it's kind of like almost preserving a headless uh, piston and you still get one block dropping. That's what I have in this uh, thing here. I have a butted uh, piston right here, and this is a headless sticky piston. If I power this, you can see this block got dropped, but uh, yeah, after this started moving, um, this started extending and it deleted that uh, block 36 of a piston head creating a headless piston here but it also dropped this block so for in terms of bedrock breaking you could actually kinda sort of only use one headless piston maybe for a uh, for a contraption because you kinda preserve a headless piston here too if you if you do that so that that could be some new in, uh, interesting 1.13 uh, headless piston feature. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, like I said before, the standard, uh, the old standard method of bedrock breaking that Meyer and Erio had doesn't really work anywhere. But actually if you slightly modify a setup to do what I have here, then it will actually still work. Because like I showed back there, if you, uh, if this, uh, if like a piston, or if you have a block 36 of a piston base, then like a block can still be retracted through that block. Uh, like if this uh, was, wasn't a block 36, then this couldn't get retracted through, and that's uh, why that old method wouldn't work. But I actually uh, scheduled two block events in this piston here, and uh, yeah, uh, so it'll start retracting once, and uh, then it'll be a block 36, and then this block can actually be retracted through that, and uh, then the method will still work because yeah then another block event will get scheduled that's uh, scheduled by this extra piston here and uh, then it, the, the bedrock will get deleted in the end so yeah you see we have bedrock there right now but if I run this contraption uh, it deletes a piston obviously uh, like the old contraption but it does uh, break the bedrock here and uh, yeah it's kinda just slightly modified um, I mean, it's has quite a bit more stuff. You have to add an extra piston here too. But uh, yeah, maybe some people want to use this. I also have a uh, another setup here that won't delete a piston because uh, this uh, 
the head of the piston is broken and then the, the base will drop the, uh, the piston. This is something I also showed before in 1.12 or before. So yeah, you could still have a setup where you don't uh, delete a piston, you could preserve it. Uh, so yeah, here's the setup. Um, if I run this, you can see we have the piston over here, it drops, and uh, we also delete this piston here. So as you can see, uh, at least for this uh, first release of 1.13, we do still have uh, yeah, precise timing, uh, piston bed bedrock breaking, which is good news, especially since uh, uh, Dragon Egg bedrock breaking got fixed. That was obviously pretty much the best method. And uh, from not, like in this version, this pretty much piston bedrock breaking is pretty much the best uh, we have at this point. So yeah, uh, here's a couple setups. You could uh, check the world download for them if uh, you want to break some bedrock in 1.13. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions, maybe about some new uh, headless piston mechanics, you could feel free to ask me in the comments. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And bye-bye.